UAA Robotics is proud to submit our system acceptance review video for consideration by the University Rover Challenge Judges Panel. Entering our third year with support from UAA and many professional organizations, our team of over 30 students chose to iterate upon and optimize last year's design. Introducing Iceberg 3. UAA Robotics divided into teams dedicated to each rover subsystem, mechanical, electrical, software, science, and project management. We developed a Gantt chart and task list based on challenge requirements and available resources. By utilizing FEA on mechanical structures, 3D printing, and industrial machining equipment, we rapidly prototyped and optimized new design features. As supplies were purchased, we built, troubleshot, and tested systems in parallel. Chassis and suspension designs are centered on the extreme retrieval task. Our four-wheel independent suspension system is designed to traverse any terrain with ease, including a one-meter drop. By utilizing a bulkhead design stiffened with steel rods, we created a small, light, and sturdy chassis. Coupled with our 400-watt brushless DC hub motors, the rover has a low center of gravity and impressive agility. The rover runs on one 720-watt-hour lithium-ion battery, providing ample power for each competition task. Five cameras face in various directions to give drivers sufficient visibility at all times. These provide multiple close-ups of the end effector and wide-angle views of the Armin rover. The rover uses a set of 900 MHz Ubiquiti radios to carry multiple video streams as well as rover commands, allowing maximum propagation through obstacles. A pair of 5 dBi dipole antennas are mounted high on the rover, while the base station uses a 120-degree directional antenna with a 13 decibel gain. The base station runs a custom graphical application built with WX Python for viewing rover camera streams and monitoring and controlling the rover. It features a navigation system to display the position of the rover in real time from transmitted GPS coordinates and a configurable control system, enabling operation of the rover with a pair of gamepad controllers. We focused on improving our computer vision and navigation software for the autonomous traversal mission. During navigation, the rover uses an onboard GPS and accelerometer magnetometer to precisely determine its position and orientation. OpenCV analyzes the image and depth data from a stereoscopic camera to detect obstacles and hazardous terrain and identify competition markers. Our pathfinding system uses a record of encountered obstacles to calculate the most direct path to waypoint coordinates. The arm design drew inspiration from a number of industrial sources. The shoulder is powered by a 200-pound linear actuator, minimizing any moment forces in the upper arm. The elbow uses a 32 to warm gear transmission that provides smooth, predictable motion and over 100 pound-feet of available torque. This design allows the forearm to be offset from the upper arm to gain 360 degrees of freedom. We elected to use a warm gear on the wrist along with a unique end effector design that is able to rotate continuously without the use of slip rings. The end effector utilizes a gripper and a screwdriver system to accomplish the extreme retrieval and equipment servicing tasks. Three DC motors and a linear actuator provide a clamping force of 13 pound-feet in a range of 2.5 inches with precision control of 907 inch. Paired with the robotic arm, the end effector has a 5-axis range of motion. The main axis is controlled via a worm drive gearbox, minimizing power draw. A 3D printed enclosure prevents dust from entering the gearbox and belt drive systems. The replaceable pads on the gripper are designed for versatility, allowing the rover to grip items, enter commands on a keyboard, and operate a joystick. Both Phillips head and Allen key screwdrivers are mounted to the end effector and operated by the same motor to save weight. Two cameras provide first-person views of the jaws and screwdriver attachments with three laser pointers to aid in operator control. The science plan encompasses a combined approach that includes visual observations, an array of sensors, and wet lab chemistry to identify signs of life. A camera scans the area for the presence of animals, metabolic wastes, tracks, microbial mats, iron staining on surfaces due to microbial metabolic activities, and fossils. Rocks and minerals are observed for signs of endolithic organisms. Soil samples are analyzed with a variety of sensors including spectroscopy and gas detection and added to aluminum mixture to observe luminescence levels to determine the presence of oxidizers, including hemoglobin, protein, urine, feces, copper, or iron. The commercial off-the-shelf DNEZ Power Soil Kit consists of six different solutions that purify the soil samples. Then, it is tested using a NanoDrop 1000 spectrophotometer to deliver a reading of DNA concentration, DNA purity, and nucleic acid purity. This concludes our 2019 URC SAR submittal. We appreciate your consideration and look forward to seeing you at the Mars Desert Research Station.